During this lesson, we construct a top with a yoke line above the bust and a shearing below the yoke line. In the process, we demonstrate how to use the block library, the pivot tool, and the parallel line tool. We start with a basic block for ladies' top. Zoom in using the mouse wheel. Pan the working view by dragging the mouse while holding down the spacebar. First, we add a dart to the bottom hemline. Use the V quick step method with the default tool to add the dart. Select the T section. Type V and the dart width amount and click the dart reference line to enter the V dart shape. With the Bezier polyline tool, draw the yoke line above the bust area. Right click to finish the line. Switch to the dart transfer tool. Select the two V-shapes and drag a line from one side of the dart to the opposite side. The dragged V-shape is closed and the other dart opening becomes wider. Repeat the same process for the other two V-darts. Select the cut tool and cut the piece along the yoke line. In order to add fullness, we demonstrate using the Pivot tool. Before using the Pivot tool, draw a Pivot reference line. Draw two more using the Parallel Line tool. Two times three quarters means two parallel lines at three quarters inch gap. The trailing E quick step ensures the parallel lines are joined with the outline. Select the Pivot tool. Select the pivot reference lines and click either side of the selected lines. The click side is where the fanning out happens. Place the fanned out piece and rotate it. In order to combine the two shapes into one piece, we convert both pieces into a temporary shape. This allows us to remove any lines that we don't want. Use the trace tool to now create a real pattern from the remaining lines. Right click to complete the tracing. Use the BB Quick Step method to blend the curves. Select the section with the Control Section tool. Type BB and click the selected line to start the blending. Press the Keep button or simply press the Enter key to finish.